Hey kids, today I will be showing to you on how to multiply simple fractions and mixed fractions. But before that, let's have a review on how to change mixed fractions to improper fractions. Let's go! Let's change these mixed fractions into improper fractions. Let's multiply the whole number and the denominator. Then add the numerator. This will be 2 times 5 is equal to 10 plus 2 will be 12. Then copy the denominator. The improper fraction of 2 and 2 fifths will be 12 over 5. Let's have 3 and 6 over 8. Let's multiply the whole number and the denominator. Then add the numerator. Let's have 3 times 8 is equal to 24 plus 6 is equal to 30. Then copy the denominator, 8. The improper fraction of 3 and 6 over 8 is 30 over 8. Now that we know how to change mixed fraction to improper fraction, let's now go on to multiplying simple fractions and mixed fractions. Let's have example. 2 and 2 over 5 times 1 half. The first step is to change the mixed fraction to improper fraction. Let's multiply 5 times 2 is equal to 10 plus 2 is equal to 12. 12 over 5 times 1 half. The next step is to multiply the numerator by the numerator, the denominator by the denominator. Let's multiply 12 times 1 is equal to 12. 5 times 2 is equal to 10. Next, let's express the product in simplest form. The GCF of 12 and 10 is 2. So let's divide 12 over 10 to 2 over 2. Our final answer will be 6 over 5 or 1 and 1 fifth. Let's have another example. Let's multiply 3 fourth times 2 and 1 third. So the first step is to change the mixed fraction to improper fraction. Let's have 3 fourth times 3 times 2 is equal to 6 plus 1 is equal to 7. And then, let's copy the denominator. Next, let's multiply the numerator by the numerator, the denominator by the denominator. Let's have 3 times 7 is equal to 21. 4 times 3 is equal to 12. Then, let's express our answer in simplest form. The GCF of 21 and 12 is 3. So, let's divide 21 and 12 into 3 over 3. 21 divided by 3 is equal to 7. 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4. Our answer will be 1 and 3 fourths. Another step in multiplying simple fractions and mixed fractions is through cancellation method. Let's have 4 over 12 times 3 and 6 over 8. The first step in cancellation method is still change the mixed fraction to improper fraction. We have 4 over 12 times 8 
times 3 is equals to 24 plus 6 is equals to 30. The improper fraction of 3 and 6 over 8 is 30 over 8. Then, let's get the GCF of any of the numerator and denominator. Let's have 4 and 8. The GCF of 4 and 8 is 4, while 12 and 30 is 6. So let's divide 4 and 8 into 4. 4 divided by 4 is equals to 1. Let's cancel 4. It will become 1. 4 divided by 4 is equals to 2. Cancel 8 and make it 2. The another set is 12 and 30. So let's divide 12 and 30 to its GCF 6. 12 divided by 6 is equals to 2. 30 divided by 6 is equals to 5. Next, let's multiply the numerator by the numerator, the denominator by the denominator. 1 times 5 is equals to 5. 2 times 2 is equals to 4. Next step is to express our answer in simplest form. 5 over 4 is 1 and 1 fourth. Let's have another example. 2 third times 4 and 1 half. The first step is to change the mixed fraction to improper fraction. 2 third times 2 times 4 is equals to 8 plus 1 is equals to 9. Then let's copy the denominator. Let's multiply using the cancellation method. Let's find the GCF of any of the numerator and the denominator. Let's have 2 and 2. Their GCF is 2. Let's divide them into 2. 2 divided by 2 is equals to 1 and 2 divided by 2 is also equals to 1 another set we have 3 and 9 the GCF of 3 and 9 is 3 let's divide them into 3 3 divided by 3 is equals to 1 let's cancel 3 9 divided by 3 is equals to 3 now Let's multiply numerator to the numerator, denominator to the denominator. 1 times 3 is equals to 3, and 1 times 1 is equals to 1. Or, our final answer is 3. Let's have another example. 4 over 7 times 2 and 4 over 8. Let's copy 4 over 7 and change mixed fractions into improper fraction. 8 times 2 is equals to 16 plus 4 is equals to 20. And then let's copy the denominator. Next step is to find the GCF of any of the numerator and denominator. Let's have 4 and 8. The GCF of 4 and 8 is 4. 4 divided by 4 is equals to 1. Let's cancel 4. 8 divided by 4 is equals to 2. Let's cancel 8. Let's find out if there is a GCF of 7 and 20. There is no GCF of 7 and 20. So let's have 1 times 20 is equals to 20. 7 times 2 is equals to 14. Now let's simplify our answer. 20 and 14 has a GCF of 2. Let's divide 20 over 14 
into 2 over 2. 20 divided by 2 is equals to 10. 14 divided by 2 is equals to 7. Our answer is 1 and 3 over 7. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and like this video. Thank you!